purposes for the month of March. Now please take note that this is only a general reading. And if this doesn't resonate with you, please check your moon risings, okay? Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way this month. We'll be pulling out more cards for the uh, clarifications, okay? Right after um, all the spreads. Mm -hmm. Aries, there is a water sign that you're trying to run away from. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, this month of March, it seems like there is a legal battle, or there is like a chapter that's about to end, okay? Which is, I feel like it will be ending with victory. So, it's not just about cutting off the communications and cutting off this person's toxicity out of your life. But it seems like you, were, you will also be um, starting a brand new beginning or starting a brand new chapter of your life. Well, especially if this water sign has been such a nuisance or you know, it's if they've been like putting a lot of burdens into your shoulder. And finally, this is the month that you will be conquering it. You know, conquering the victory and luck will be in your favor. Well, it comes to love, especially with this person from the past who will be resurfacing again. You have to take note if this person have brought you a lot of, you know, good stuff in the past. Or if this person just brought you a lot of tears and miseries and burdens. That... Mm, Y'all would know the answer to that. And if you're still hoping that this person might, okay, or somehow could still change... Uh, you're only kidding yourself. Because you already know the answer to that as well. Well, couples, it seems like you're going to have a very oozing connection, you know, sexually this month. It seems like you're also going to be making up for all those lost times and for all those times that, you know, well, most of the cold nights. Well... It seems like this month will be more about your personal decisions in your personal life, okay? Now, if you're also planning to look for a job or, you know, to go for some career change, then it seems like, uh, okay, let's take a look. What will be the messages of the angels for you this month? Or if you're looking for a career change, a shift, a sign of something else that you can do. Or something else that you can do better as well. Okay, now. There's a legal battle that you will be waiting through. Or that you will be, you know, getting the favor um, beside of you. And it seems like this water sign that has been giving you a lot of um, strife, difficulties, miseries, problems, delays, blockages. It seems like finally you will be over and you'll be re winning this person over, okay? Uh, whether it's uh, an illegal battle or, you know, it's uh, if the two of you are actually going through for some child support, child custody or something like that. But there is something in between that the two of you are really fighting and... You know, trifling. So, this is the moment that you will be, wa you know, walking out of the situation with much victory and with your heads up. This person thinks that before, you will never ever win, you know, over him or her. But unfortunately, um, justice will prevail. It seems like, uh, you know, the karma will also be playing a part in this. And then you will be cutting off this person out of your life, slicing them. And you will be working on yourself, working on your new life. And there's also a possibility of moving into a new place or a new house. Even though right now you're already having a hard time doing everything at once because you are just moving on your own. 
nobody is currently helping you and you're already feeling so well partly down you know because you feel so alone at this point or in, or at this moment and you know the people that you least expect to be there for you just close their doors on you and they're not even willing to you know to help out to assist you or to even listen to you so you will be making a plan or you will be like you know like th there's a plan that will be formed inside your head that this is really the big sign you know for you to move away move out of the city and to really um go on your own okay go on your own journey and leave all these people behind of course that there will still be some connect connections and of course <coughs> okay i'm sorry um i still have a bad cough and uh, bad colds right now anyway um and then of course that there will still be some communications um from those people but right now this is just a clear indication that a new change a new beginning and a new life really awaits you okay so don't hesitate if ever that you feel so afraid that what if you know like will you make it alone or will you make it on that place or will it be better will you get a job will you be struggling with the finances and stuff like that you just need to trust the universe okay because right now life is already pivoting you into the right direction because you've been looking for the signs anyway so right now this is the right way and the you know life is already showing you the arrow of the path that you need to track on now when it comes to your finances okay now when it comes to your finances it seems like you already have enough saved um you know funds or resources for your new beginning for your new life but you are still you know like juggling and uh, still balancing whether it's um um what do you call this whether it's um it's the right thing to do because it seems like you're juggling between two offers um two opportunities and you know um two places two companies or two departments two positions as well the other one is you know that you have enough experience but the other one is more likely a big shot in the dark okay it's like you're shooting for the moon now somehow i feel like whether you like it or not whether you're ready or not you are really going to be moving so don't wait for you know for life because right now you're still having some second thoughts should i move should i make it should i wait you know and the answer of life to you is yeah you should move so they're going to be pushing you away okay um there will be some you know disasters in disguise and there will be some blessings in disguise but whatever happens this month of march is all about the new beginning it's like your rising phoenix okay now when it comes to your love life now let's take a look first with singles singles there is somebody from the past that will be re-emerging again or that will be making themselves known and this is a former beau or former lover and an air sign now be very careful with the intention of this person because i feel like they're not really that you know their intention is not really that pure their intention is not really that what you really expected it to be now there is a truth that will be coming out right in the middle of the month and it seems like this person either they are already um entangled engaged or already with somebody who's an earth sign and they already have a family and they're only looking for something more likely like a side entertainment don't let yourself be used by this person okay now for those couples now there is still somebody from the past that will be coming back into your life especially right now that your relationship is on the rocks or on the verge of breaking down or, or falling apart do not entertain any other energy just because that you feel like your life is already crumbling down your foundation is already being threatened okay because instead of your partner having the karma it might be you 
who will accept the karma if you will be entertaining another energy or like a third party in your relationship now aside from that this air sign is n I, I don't really feel like they really mean okay whatever that they've been promising you because right after getting your attention and right after breaking you away from your favorite marriage or from your relationship or from whatever a domestic partnership could be then they're just gonna you know drop you like a hot potato and left you right in the middle and then you will end up feeling sorry for yourself okay if this is an ear sign that is coming back into your life do not entertain them okay now if you are dealing with a fire sign with another fire sign okay you have to reconsider whether this person has the capability or whether they are capable of being committed um staying uh true to their promises and of course committed as well or they're no longer going to be um flirting with other people just like what they have done before or is it just much better for you to just walk away altogether and give each other a closure it's up to you now when it comes to your sex life it seems like you're going to be rocking each other's world okay this this month and singles i feel like you're also going to be having a lot of active sex life this month you're gonna have a lot of adventures you will also be um you know having sex with someone that is that used to be your crush but now this person will be in your bed okay and if you're looking into a big relationship or big commitment i don't really feel like it's coming this month well if you're if you you know if you're gonna have some sexual relationship with somebody it's gonna take some time but if you're really serious about somebody right by the last week of this month i feel like there will be some promises but i don't really feel like it's gonna be a serious one now for couples it seems like you're gonna be making up for your cold nights or for your lost times together and it seems like you are gonna be so into each other and you are gonna be you know like like how you like making each other feel like how you used to or how you how you have started in the past which is a good thing because it, especially if you're going through some um relationship therapy or counseling then this is a very good sign that it's really working out between the two of you all right in fact that your partner been so into oral you will be tr you, you know you will try to be more into that and you will also try to be more livid and more graphic okay now when it comes to your health hmm. when it comes to your health <coughs> it seems like you will only have a problem with your eyesight and aside from that you'll be you know feeling a little bit down uh, you will up and down because of your emotional you know dilemmas and uh, emotional dramas in life so i feel like you will be okay with that but you have to go and check out your eyesight okay your immune system nightmares be careful with contaminated uh, water that you will be drinking and unhygienic food food poisoning and parasites You'll be a little bit more concerned about your, you know, your appearance and how you look like, especially about um, going for Botox or, well, some dermatological thing, you know, or vanity. Um, especially you'll be focusing on your nose, eye bags, skin, um, facelift and stuff like that, which is not really necessary. You know, might as well just save your money for something else. But anyway, and it's also much better for you to go and uh, swim or stay near the water if you need to relax or to whisk off your stress, okay? Aside from that, you need to, like, tune in or tune up your, your energy again and find your center, okay? Because you're a little bit out of sync all over the place and not really concentrating on the things that you really needed to do because you're too distracted, Okay? rheumatism knee pain joint pains and well especially in your lower 
back and knees and shoulder blades now if you're also looking into changing your career or going for some let's say like a sign you know if there's still something else that you're skilled at the options are already right in front of you and number and there's also another one who which is a healer so either in the field of reiki energy therapy therapy acupuncture or something like that okay so this is already up to you and counseling you're a good listener but also be very careful in giving out advices and judging other people's situations but you can also have a uh, life path here a life purpose now let's take a look at your oracle cards for this month divine love inspiration communication well canceling and communication is actually you know, um, entwined with each other. And inspiration, healing. Healing inspiration. Well, you can be an inspiration to other people who's also going through the same, you know, dark path or miserable path. You can enlighten them. You can inspire them. And you can heal them by listening and, uh, you know, cheering them up. And divine love. You need to love yourself, have some trust in, in the universe, whatever it is that they are trying to show you and to direct you. And it seems like you also need to have some more faith in yourself and your spirituality that needs to be nurtured. Okay? So anyway, that's it for you for this month, Aries. And if you want to talk to me live in the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.